Hello everybody, welcome back to the DIY raffle website series. This is going to be part three. So just a quick introduction to this video. This is going to be you changing the logo on the website and adding your own color scheme. So that will dramatically change the website to how you want yours to look uh, and meet your kind of brand uh, and also make it your own. So we'll, we'll, we'll start from the start again or start from the logging in to where we left off last time. So we'll log in. Same again, just log in with Namecheap. And hopefully, so we just want to log back into the admin area of our uh, website. So go ahead and click on that. Let that load up. And here, right, we're back into the website. So very simply, if we go to where we left off last time, we obviously want to update this website so it looks uh, like your logo and you have your logo here. Change the colors on the buttons. Change the background colors here. You know, stuff like that. Maybe even change the fonts. So all very easy to do and uh, we'll get into it right now. So first of all, let's change the, um, the header, so the logo. So all we need to do is on the left hand side, go to get found. That's the theme options area. And here we're gonna select headers, click edit. And you can kind of see here how the header is laid out. So on the left hand side, we have the logo. And but the, at the very top, you have to remember there's uh, different devices that are gonna be looking at your website. So on the default, which is gonna be desktop, uh, tablets and mobiles. So you can kind of see how things change slightly uh, as you go through the different devices. But what we really want to look at now is uh, the logo. So all we need to do is uh, click or change and say we want to change it to these dice. That's very simple. So all you have to do is either for your logo, all you have to do is drag and drop it onto this screen and that will upload for you. You can click it and set image. Now if your image is um, or if you're your logo is slightly different in sizes, you can go in here and set the default height and uh, for your logo. But I would say a maximum of 100 for the height, just in case you need to make it a bit smaller if it is a very uh, wide logo, so it's like text or whatever. Um, just make sure it uh, it's not super high because then it'll stretch out quite far. Anyway, so it, it's really trial and error there. Uh, we can, while we're here, change the promotion message. So you can exit out of these at all. You can just hover over them and click the wee uh, trash can, or you can go and edit up here. All we need to do is uh, change that to launch day coming soon. There we go, launch day coming soon. and save changes at the top right hand corner. Now that will change for tablets and mobiles at the same time. But if you do want to move things about, uh, each of these elements about, you'll have to do it on each of the, each of the devices. So that'll be that. So we'll go back to the site now and refresh that and see how that looks. So that's us. Change the logo, simple as that. Change the, um, change the promotion message at the top here as well. Again, you can take that out altogether. Now, because we're logged in, you'll see a hello at, um, on your name here. That just lets, and that's really for the users, so they know they're logged in, and they can click on here and then bring them to their account, where they can see their orders and their, uh, all the rest of it, all that good stuff. So we'll go back to the homepage, and we'll see we're still using the color scheme that I have set in the demo website. But obviously you'd like to change that to a color scheme that matches your logo. So we'll go back into the uh, the admin area and then click theme options just as the first option underneath get found. Click on theme options. Down the left hand side you'll see colors. Right in here are all the colors. This seems like a lot and I suppose it is but this is a color for different aspects of the website and you'll see things starting to match up, like the primary color, 
uh, and the secondary color is slightly different. But the good thing about this is that at the top right hand corner you can hit predefined color schemes and there's quite a few to choose from. So you can go from white pink, so let's, let's try that, that's actually quite uh, similar to uh, the, the demo site uh, just with a slightly different gradient and you can tweak these so say you don't want the this pink you can change that here just with a color anything you like change it up and down you know maybe you want a blue but for now we will just leave it as the color scheme white pink so let's go and save those changes refresh the website and you'll see nothing's really changed here because we haven't changed the button so we'll change the button before we go back so on the left hand side back in theme options you'll see the default button all we need to do is change uh, the gradient colors on hover now these can be a simple uh, solid color and then colors on hover so when you put your mouse over it it changes slightly gives the, the user some feedback uh, where is the colors right okay so we'll change the colors to the primary color first so we'll double click on that copy go back to button styles go here and uh, so for primary we'll do that before or just the default look of the button click off that we'll see if changes quickly go back to color colors in here get the secondary color go back to button styles and change the on hover color that means that it'll give a wee bit of feedback and you can kind of see here at the very top this is exactly what it'll look like we'll go back to the home page and see what that looks like so top left we can open that in a new tab that's just a quick way to open your website on a new tab go back to there and there you go you can kind of see the the colors of the buttons have changed very simply this might take a, a a few minutes sometimes a uh, cache can uh, get involved and keep your uh, your buttons uh, the old style just for a wee moment <clears throat> this just speeds up the website but you don't need to know more about that uh, but it will change very quickly so then we'll go back into the uh, one of the products or one of the competitions and kind of see a few things have changed button Obviously, the background of photos won't change because once you upload a photo, it's you know I made that background for the the demo website to blend in, but you can kind of see how everything else can change to the to the colors of your color scheme, which is great. I'll show you another one here. So why not go into colors? We'll just go into material design. I have no idea what this will look like, but we'll go change, save changes. And you can see there, completely different look to the website. Different colors all over the place. It looks great. Can't see when you hover over there, you get a wee slightly different shade of uh, purple. All these wee small things really add up to the a good user experience. Uh, also, you would have to change your button style again, or maybe you, you like that button style. It does actually go quite well with these. So simple as that, hopefully that uh, gives you some, well, a quick insight to really go as far as you want by changing all these. You can always go back and just click color. If you say you mess something up and it looks terrible, all you need to do is go back, click black and white, or, you know, click st stylish uh, cayenne, and click save changes. It's really, it's really foolproof. So you don't need to get, you don't need to worry. If something doesn't work, you can go in and try and, try again until uh, you get the one that you like so hopefully uh, hopefully that uh, explains everything there for you so all the best and we'll come back with the next video which is going to be more on the terms of setting the website up in terms of the payment gateways and uh, some of the site settings